Hey there, it's me, Tracy, from the Passionate Spinner podcast. I haven't done a podcast in a very long time because in these times of social distancing, I have to take care of Tim because, you know, he's a child and he's not going to kindergarten and he needs to be entertained in some way or another. And right now I have a little bit of alone time for the first time in a while where I'm truly actually alone. <laughs> My husband's taking care of Tim. They're outside playing. And I should be doing a podcast right now, but I really don't want to. I just don't feel like it whatsoever. So I will not make myself do a podcast. You know, during the week when I'm with Tim, I cannot do a podcast because I don't know how to edit and he will interrupt for sure. And I don't want him on video, so that's not going to happen. And so now to pass the time, I've decided to do these little short videos for um, IGTV and just see what it brings and if I like it and if you like it and you know just try it out. So what I'm uh, going to do today is I'm going to show you and talk to you about the four sweater whips I have currently on the needles and I'm actively working on. So I'm going to start out with the oldest one of them that is the Mild Magic sweater by Stephen West where I also stopped like eight stitches in a row <laughs> but this is getting large so this is yes this is going to be a sweater I know it doesn't look like it right now but it will be it is very colorful it is very big it's super cozy super comfy and it will basically oops go like this so this here is the front I'm gonna tilt you down so this is the front this will go over here and down here to the sleeve. And I'm now working on the other side. So I'm using all kinds of leftover sock yarns held together with a strand of white mohair or white alpaca. And yeah, I'm just working my way through this. It's like I said, it's gigantic already. It's going to be very heavy, it's going to be very warm, super, super cozy, and it's going to look something like, like this, just with a more toned down color palette, because I, I'm holding white with everything. So yeah, this is my, when I'm in here, in my yarn room, work in progress, because I have all the yarn in this box. And it's just not the most portable project ever. So this is what I'm working on when I'm in here. The next oldest thing is the Confetti Rep Cardigan by Julie Knits in Paris. And I found the magazine again. It's from this magazine. It's Knit Now, issue 100. And it's, like I said, a rep cardigan. It looks like this. So that is what I'm working on right now. Um, I'm using Regia, uh, uh, Yak Marino, I think it's called Yak Marino, and it's the most gorgeous yarn. It's a Yak blend, it's this orange color, but it's not just a single colored orange yarn. It has so much depth to it, you know, I really like it. So the back is knit in stockinette after you do a bit of lace at the top. And I just separated the sleeves from the body and now I'm working on the body alone, you know, and then I will do the sleeves. So you do this nice rounded lace motif and it really shows on camera the motif that it is this rounded thing. And I had to do a little bit of um, cheating for this one. I'm a very tight knitter, so I usually just knit the size one up because if it's a bit big, it doesn't matter. But for this one, as it's a wrap cardigan, it being a bit big actually does matter. <laughs> so what I did, I started knitting size large and then I just realized that it's going to be way too big if I continue on in the size large. So I, um, when I had reached the numbers, the stitch count for size medium, I stopped increasing but I didn't have the depth for the yoke yet. So what I did was instead of 
doing the increases with the yarn overs, I immediately decreased again. So I did have the yarn over pattern, but not the increase. And yeah, I'm just, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm working on this um, mostly when I'm outside in the garden and it's going to be very pretty, very, very summery and just very nice cardigan to throw on top of summer dresses or to go with a skirt. So yeah, this is the wrap cardigan by Julie Knits in Paris. And then I also am working on my second laneway dress pattern. And that is a pattern by Vera Valimaki. I have made one before. It's done. It's finished. I have not shown the finished thing on the podcast because I haven't podcasted. But I can show you the picture. It looks like this. Only my versions aren't striped. They're faded. And I have just started knitting the sleeves because I want to knit the sleeves first. So then I can use every little bit of yarn that I have left for the actual sweater. So this is where I am. I almost finished skein number one. I have a tiny bit left to do the fading in sleeve number two. And I have worked my way down the body in color number two for a bit. And now, like I said, I'm doing the first sleeve. I did the fade and then now on to skein number two. So this is my laneway dress number two. As you can see, these are the colors I've already used. The first one I is from Zauberwiese. The second one is this hedgehog yarn. It's hedgehog uh, fibers. And I'm going to show you the other three that are still coming. This one here is number four. This one here is number three, and it's another yarn from Zauberwiese. So we'll go like this. Then I have this yarn here, which is from Land o' Lace, Land o' Lace. And the last one is a, a skein from Skein from Australia. And it's look it looks like this. So this will be the fade for the second version. It's very different from the first one, which, you know, makes sense because if I'm making something twice, I want it to be as different as possible. And I think I'm achieving that. So yeah, that's my laneway dress. It's my, when I'm reading or when I'm just too tired to think about anything in the evening knitting. <laughs> and the last thing that I have on the needles is something I started yesterday. It's another pattern by Julie Knits in Paris. It is called the Whatever Sweater. And it looks like this. Hers does. It's a design that is very easy to follow. You know, just a super simple sweater that you can do with whatever yarn you want. So her version is very colorful and I decided for mine to be an uncolored sweater. <laughs> so I'm, I'm this far in right now. Um, I changed one thing so far. I did a bit of short row shaping to get the neck higher in the back than in the front, but just a tiny bit. And yeah, the colors I am using are very uncolorful. You know, I do, when I open my wardrobe, I have a lot of very vibrant things like this sweater with black and this orange or green or, you know, just very vibrant stuff. So I decided to make something completely different. I opted to do the little flower increases that she suggests in her pattern. And I'm going to show you the yarn I'm using. So right now I'm using these two skeins, which are both Regia from the Galaxy design line, whatever, um, in the cotton sock yarn. So these are attached right now. And I'm also going to use this skein, which is a Schoppelwolle Admiral Bambus Plus, which is also very not vibrant. <laughs> I dug out this big leftover skein of yarn. I have these two small leftover bits of the Drops Nord in gray. I have these two Drops Alpaca, which I'm going to use for all the ribbing for the sweater. This is one full skein that I decided to use and it is Lana Grossa Canapa, I think. Um, do I have the... I do have the, the tag. Oh no, it's Slow Wool Lino, that's the name. And it is a 
what is it? Uh, merino and linen blend. And then I have some leftover pieces from projects that I've done years ago and that were just waiting for something to be used. So yeah, this is going to be my uncolorful whatever sweater. And I think I will wear it a lot because it's very different from what I usually make and what I already have. So no, this is untouched. Yeah, that is, that's my plan. So I hope you like my idea of doing these short snippets of stuff when I have something to show you because I just don't feel like doing an actual podcast and it would take me like a, a lot more time than doing this because this is now 10 minutes and I'm done and a podcast is going to be easily an hour because I have a lot of things that I've finished but just yeah it's not gonna happen so um I'm gonna do these again show you maybe the things that I did finish and until then I hope you all have a wonderful time and make the best of things and stay healthy and safe bye <laughs>